Hi everyone, we need to talk. A lot of comments and questions I have is about the dilution of my pain. You need to understand one important thing. They are not a good or bad dilution. Every dilution is going to be pretty interesting and um, pretty useful uh, depending on what reaction and what effects you want to have on your minute. For example, a low dilution is going to be better to create uh, strong contrasts on some of your edges for example uh, very middle dilution is the one i use a lot because it's not very covering but it's going to create some few layers and step by step you are going to increase the shadow of the light depending on what do you want and you can dilute a lot uh, with a very short brush to create some kind of shade. Depending on what do you want as result, you can have different way to dilute and control your. Anyway, today uh, we are going to. Uh, I'm going to show you a simple practice, practice and training to involve your control. For this practice, you just need uh, bits like that with some sword, for example, uh, primed in black some white color i use some white from pro color it's really 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 a good white if you can find some don't hesitate to buy it after that i use a palette but no wet palette a classical palette just because it's going to be more easy to uh, know if you control in the best way you paint uh, wet palette is going to push always water into your paint so it's going to create some distraction and some different effect the first kind of dilution is a very very low dilution as you can see i just take a few color on my palette and i directly am going to apply on the sword on every 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 edges this is a perfect dilution a low dilution to have very very strong intensity on all my different edges So my second dilution is um, the most effective and the most useful because I try, as you can see on my palette, to have something pretty transparent, not so, so covering. After that, I will remove a lot on my um, hand. And as you can see, it's really, really uh, low covering. So it's really transparent. And I'm going to apply with the side of my brush and pushing in the direction of my highlight. And in that way, it's going to always let the previous color and you can push it again and again to create better transition. And I can apply, as you can see, a second layer, but by reducing the surfaces, just to create better transition and more intensity on the end of my paint. So 
So now I'm going to create a glaze by um, dilute a little bit more than the previous one, but by I'm going to discharge a lot of paint uh, from my brush on my finger to have a better result and to have something very very lightful so i can come between these two surfaces and apply a layer we are going to create better transition So here's the result. I really hope you enjoy this kind of tutorial. Uh, once again, thanks to all my boss uh, to support me every every month uh, to create more and more content, and to all of you uh, to uh, taking a look to my tutorial. So see you next week for the next tutorial. Bye bye.